Chris. Hey, Anthony, exciting times here in the 904. Trevor Lawrence and his good friend and former college teammate Travis Etienne introduced today here at TIA, TIAA Bank Field. Uh, Trevor saying this is the first time that he has been here to the city of Jacksonville, and we all know that if Trevor is able to turn around this franchise, he will own the city of Jacksonville. Trevor also told us since the Jaguars selected him first overall in last night's NFL draft, he's gotten hundreds of text messages, many of which he has not had a chance to read or to reply to but back to getting settled here in Jacksonville the star quarterback said he's eager to learn more about our city I mean obviously you don't know a place till you get there and it's been special since I've been here today so really excited to learn more about it and really to be a part of the community and uh, just to go to work really I'm, I'm excited that I'm here and I'm officially like a part of a team now that's kind of a weird period going from you're on a team like your whole life and then you had this period before the draft where you're kind of just you're working to get better, but you're not a part of a team, and I miss that. So just excited for that. Trevor also saying that he is ready to get to work. And one bit of good news, that surgery he had on that non-throwing shoulder, he said his recovery is ahead of schedule. We continue our team coverage now with Ben Murphy. And Ben, the question is, should he be the starter game one? Chris, Jacksonville, Mother Nature, Florida, crying tears of happiness. Trevor's here, baby. But will he start? Well, at Clemson in 2018, Kelly Bryant was the starter, led the Clemson Tigers to a playoff. But in that season, Trevor Lawrence said, you're going to have to cry some emotional tears of your own because this is my job. Kelly transferred to Missouri. Are there going to have to be some transfers out of the Jaguars locker room? Trevor's ready. Go back just two years ago, just a little over two years ago, you know, Alabama was 14-0. We were 14-0. Back to throw. Looks across the middle, throws it back in the end zone, caught Higgins, touchdown. That kid cannot be 19 years old. <laughs> Come on. I mean, he looks like a 10 year NFL better. I mean, he looks like he's been there his whole life. I mean, my mindset always going in is that, like I said, I'm going to earn everything that I get. So coming in, I don't have any expectations from anyone else other than myself. You know, I, I expect to perform well and to adjust quickly and to be ready to go. And that's just something, you know, I expect a lot out of myself. So that's where I'm at mentally. And then from there, like I said, it's just about earning. I think the biggest thing is the respect and trust of your teammates. And I mean, without that, it doesn't really matter what you expect going in. You got to earn that first. So that's, I'm going to take it step by step. But like I said, I'm gonna do everything in my power to prepare to be, to be the best I can be and put us in the best chance to win. I'm not really, I'm not expecting for anyone to hand me anything. Uh, I want to come in there and earn the respect and the right to lead the team. So uh, that's that's what I'm gonna do and uh, just put the work in. Like I said. Yeah, he's not looking for a handout, and I really don't think this comes down to if. Trevor Lawrence's job is the starter job here. It's more of are the Jags ready to throw him into the NFL fire? Ben Murphy, First Coast Sports. Thank you, Ben. And nobody selects someone number one overall for them to sit on the bench. Now, here's a quick look at Trevor Lawrence's beginnings. He's 21 years old. He was born in Knoxville, Tennessee. Played his high school ball up in Cottesville, Georgia. His high school football team won 41 straight games. We like that kind of winning streak here, and they won two state titles. And you know he played his college ball at Clemson, where he went 34-2 as a starter. Led the Tigers to the national championship in 2018. Lost in the title game the following year. And in 20. 2020, the Tigers lost in the college football semifinals, and he was a Heisman runner-up. Now, coming up tonight, all new at 6, you guys are well-versed in the fact that he and Travis Etienne are close friends. Mia O'Brien is going to continue our live team coverage as she takes a deeper look at their relationship. But everybody fired up about Trevor Lawrence now being a Jacksonville Jaguar. That's the story for now. Let's send it back inside to you guys. Oh, Chris, we are so excited to have Trevor here on the First Coast. And, you know, the only 